Hello everyone, we got a lot of news for today's video. First of all, jet balance. What's happening over here, real time, 35 million XRP remaining guys. Basically, within a week from about now, he should be done with this bag, right? As we see, he went from 7 to 4 to 4 to 4 million. One more week guys. Now, a few of you guys were asking about is Flare live or what's happening over here. I'm, I'm pretty sure on the 11th they do launch and then 8 weeks after in September is when we will receive our Spark tokens, right? It's going to connect everything. Again guys, remember XRP, we got Flare, right? It's going to be spectacular what actually does take place. Now, Rizx Peace, you know, Brad Rolling Hill stopped by and showed me some love today. As we see, he did like his post, his tweet. By the way, if you guys haven't watched the video I posted yesterday about how XRP is the clear winner, you guys should because there's some golden nuggets right in that video. But we know Brad Garling House knows XRP is the clear winner, guys. It's all before our face right there. Look at him smiling. By the way, guys, if you guys can like the video to spread awareness, right? Share the video about what's happening with the current financial system and the new one that's literally up on the horizon. Now, ignore this post. Nothing to see here. Just some of the biggest banks, financial institutes in the world casually scrolling across Ripple website. Whatever you do, don't try and add up the net worth of those companies. It's just going to make you sad that your crypto is not the one. Guys, look at that right here. I mean, are you wondering, right? All these people, guys, Ripple partners, just trillions of dollars casually scrolling across Ripple's website. Nothing to see here. Now, imagine all those partners that are not announced yet. Right behind the scenes as well, guys. Do we see the plan in the pudding? Right now, Blockworks is sweet out just in. US Treasury has delivered a framework to President Biden on international crypto regulation. Guys, it's happening right before our faces. What do we have here? Crypto regulation, right? They delivered a framework to President Biden. Guys, we're not making these things up, it's actually inbound. We got to prepare guys, we got to prepare. So let's go ahead and read this. A group of US regulators urged the federal government to work with other nations as countries around the world grapple with digital asset regulation. Guys, when regulations do appear, it's, going, it's probably going to be a massacre, right? To the crypto industry. This is, this is crazy guys, it's actually inbound. Oh, 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 will you look at this guys? Jeanette Yellen has urged caution over especially when it comes to retail investors after the implosion of Terra stablecoin UST, plus an emphasis on needing to watch out for instability and crime from digital assets, right? The narrative keeps on brewing. We have just had over this last week with Terra and with Tether an illustration of the risks associated with stablecoins. There can be runs. Whoa, wait a minute, guys. Terra and with Tether. The two examples. An illustration of the risk. Guys, no way. If Tether does actually fall, if USDT does actually fall and implode on itself, literally most, the whole crypto industry is just going to plummet very quick and very fast, guys. Because... It all ties in. A lot of these coins, S coins and meme coins and whatnot, ties in, interconnected with Tether and USDT, right? So just be wary, guys. Yellen and a number of prominent politicians on the federal level have urged regulators to treat stablecoins and similar digital assets like banks. The United States continues to work on the G20 roadmap for addressing challenges and frictions with cross-border payments. Well, you look at that, including on improvements to existing systems, the international dimensions of CBDC designs, and the potential of well-regulated stablecoin arrangements. 
It's not the first time regulators have expressed concern over the growing market segments of stable coins because it's very risky guys, right? So I'll be prepared to say the least at the end of the day. Now yeah, guys, we know regulations are literally up on the horizon. Let's be prepared. Now look at this tweet from Bifinex. This is why something is something weird is taking place. When Tether said they didn't lose any money on Celsius, they were or they are telling the truth. They printed a billion tethers out of thin air at zero cost and then Celsius blew up. Their loss, zero. Why? Because it's fake, right? It's just up in the air, right? What do we see right here? We borrow USDT from Tether. Celsius provides collateral for such loans. We have never borrowed USD from Tether. And then what do we see right here, guys? The investigation found that Tether had loaned billions of dollars to crypto companies using Bitcoin as collateral. Huh. Tether was a lead investor in Celsius Network's 30 million funding round in June 2020. Tether has loaned 1 billion to Celsius Network. This is why, guys, be careful. If regulations are literally right there, they might go after Tether and USDT, right? But which connects to this suite as well? Solana Labs, look at this, guys. Multicoin accused of violating securities law by sole investor. What is happening? What? Solana sole token is an unregistered security whose insiders have benefited while retail suffered. This suit alleged, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's so getting sued, guys, right? This is absolutely mind boggling. Guys, remember, there's a lot of insider trading going on. Be careful of these coins. If I'm not mistaken, there's a lot of whales for the Soul token. According to the complaint, Young alleges the way Soul was created and sold meets the three tenets of the Howey test. Purchasers who bought Soul securities have invested money or given valuable services to a common enterprise, Solana. Young pointed to several sales of the Soul token or agreements to sell the Soul token ahead of the public sale of the token. There we go, guys. So I'll be wary, not just because of those stable coins, but because of these other S coins, guys, too. Voyager customers tell me they're struggling and fear they have lost their life savings after the crypto firm suspended withdrawals and declared bankruptcy. It, it ruined me, right? Said a Chicago financial advisor. I have to start my whole life again. Guys, this is why we make such videos, right? This is why we, we spread awareness so people don't fall into these traps, guys. Of investing into these shady companies, shady coins, right? Be be wary, guys. Former asset manager for Celsius files lawsuit alleging the company was a Ponzi scheme. We got Seoul going down, by the way. We got Voyager, and now we got. Come on, guys. Celsius pretends to be shocked, right? Look at that. Operating a Ponzi scheme. Guys, what is actually happening? A classic a classic Ponzi scheme. Wow. Be wary, guys, of these projects and all these things, right? It seems like a dumpster fire. That, that, that's literally happening, guys. All these projects, coins, everything seems to be going down, right? Except for... Ripple, XRP, and a few other utility coins. Isn't that quite interesting? Those coins, those companies seem to be moving up. Brad Garling House is sweet out. WSJ writes, Mr. Gensler's blockade is counterproductive if his aim is to protect investors. Gary, right? <laughs> what is Gary doing, guys? Oh, by the way, we're here to protect investors. Well, the words of protection, right? The Saint has sweet out. The SEC is fighting for its life after filing the bogus case against Ripple XRP. Never in their wildest dreams could they have been ready for so much pushback. Now all the years of corruption are being exposed little by little, right? 
Again guys, the truth prevails at the end of the day. Always remember that. Always remember that. Now, quickly let's talk about the price of what's happening at the end of the day. The USD basically pumped heavily, right? I do believe we're either going to consolidate or dump a bit before we keep mo moving back up again. It's funny because Bitcoin and XRP's price is stable or actually it actually pumped, right? So which is quite hilarious. I do believe though the bottom might not be in because the USD is on a raging bull run at this point guys. We have to wait till it reaches its target and see what happens then. Not financial advice. But anyways, that's all for you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are pleased to like, subscribe, 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 subscribe